some days just seem like you have so much to do that you can't even get one thing done, but you have so much to do. Is that, am I the only one with that problem? Hello, and welcome back to Ashley You Life. In today's class, we're gonna get organized. So I just got back from working out and going out to breakfast with one of the girls that I work out with, and I just played with Sadie. Hence her being kind of, you know, passed out on the floor. But I am washing my hair today, but before I wash my hair, I wanna deep condition it with coconut oil because I feel like it just needs a little bit of love. So let's do it. So I get my coconut oil at Costco because it's a great price. And I normally have two coconut oils. I normally have the one that I keep in the kitchen and then I have one that I keep in the bathroom for my hair just to like not contaminate or anything. But I'm actually out of the one that's in my bathroom. The one that's in my bathroom was this guy. This is like an older version of this. So I wanna keep the container. This is like completely empty though and I wanna wash it out and clean it. So I'm gonna put some of this into here so that I can keep it in the bathroom for my hair. But as of today, I'm just gonna take some of this coconut oil and scoop it into this bowl. That should be good. This way no coconut oil falls on the floor because it can get kind of drippy. And then I'm gonna comb out my hair. I always start from the bottom and work my way up. Okay, all the tangles are out of my hair and now we can put on the coconut oil. I'm gonna take off my jewelry just cause I don't wanna get it all oily. It becomes like a liquid. And see, I already dropped some, so I'm glad I have the towel on the ground. And then I always start from my ends and then work the way up to my roots. covered in coconut oil. Now, depending how much of a deep conditioning you want, you can bring it up to here, not go so far into your roots, but I just wanted to do my whole head, roots to tips. Now, to keep it contained, I got these shower caps at the Dollar Tree. So I have four for a dollar, 25 cents each. Don't feel bad about throwing it away, not whatsoever. So let's do this fun purple color. Oh my gosh, there's two purple ones. That means there's there's eight in here. Oh my gosh, I thought 25 cents each. Way cheaper than 25 cents each, what? Now that's exciting. So taking the purple cap, getting it ready, and I'm just going to stick my hair at the top of my head. I'm just gonna kind of roll it into like a little bun, and I'm gonna stick a bobby pin in it to hold it. And you can use rubber band too if you want to, but I'm just gonna use a little bobby pin. And then you're gonna take the shower cap and stick it over your head. Because as I continue to let this set in, that the oil is just gonna become more and more drippy, so this is gonna help it stay contained. I also have a more in-depth class on how to deep condition your hair with coconut oil. If you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the description and probably post a little link up there. But it goes into way more detail, and in case you don't have a shower cap and you wanna do this like today, not a problem, I have a little secret hint for you, so just go watch the video and I'll let you know what that is. But for now, we're just going to uh, let the coconut oil do its magic. I'm gonna do some dishes, I'm gonna do some editing, and I'm gonna do some laundry and then I'm going to wash my hair and uh, my hair should be much softer after. I just finished the dishes, which there were kind of a lot of because I made a chicken pot pie last night. I mean, I made chicken pot pie for the first time last night. It actually turned out so, so good. I made one big one and then I made little mini ones that I froze so we can eat them later. And then I wrote the little directions on how to unfreeze them and cook them right here on the freezer Ziploc bag. I'm so excited, but the chicken pot pie, it turned out so good, I was so proud of myself. First time doing it, and uh, it was a 100% success. I would definitely make it again. But anyways, what I was gonna tell you is that what I do to make chores like the dishes a little more bearable is I actually watch Netflix while I'm doing things, whether it's laundry or dishes, just doing anything that you have to do. I always have my Netflix on my little iPad, and right now I'm watching Ozark and it's on the second season, it's really, really good. If you haven't watched it yet, you should go check it out, I really like it. But yeah, this is what I do to entertain myself when I'm doing something that's so boring and I'm also getting in my TV show. So I never really sit sit down to watch a show, unless it's with Matt. Yeah, that's really the only time that I sit down. This 
is my lifesaver and I get to watch shows and I also get to be productive. So maybe something to think about if you hate chores as much as I do. So I have been deep conditioning for a little over an hour. I think I'm gonna go for an hour more, but I have dishes done, I have laundry washing, and so now I'm just gonna continue editing the video that I have for this week, and then I'm gonna wash my hands. It's been three hours, it's time to wash this hair. So I just rinsed out my hair like crazy, just let the water run over it, get as much coconut oil as I could before I shampooed, and now I am shampooing, and I'm just gonna let my hair just soak up all the suds for a couple minutes. Maybe you do a little loofah soap action and then rinse my hair out, see how it's feeling. And from there, I'll determine if I have to shampoo again. And then I always end it by conditioning my hair just a little bit with conditioner, but mostly only on the ends because my roots are conditioned enough they don't need it. So now I'm just letting my hair air dry. I only needed to shampoo it once and I added a little bit of conditioner. It feels good. And then I'm gonna style it just a little bit. Tonight we are going to Matt's sister's house for his birthday to celebrate with his family. But earlier I was talking about how today we're gonna talk about Sadie. She's throwing her ball at me. I said today we were gonna talk about organization, but I'm not talking about physical organization. I'm not talking about things that you organize. I'm talking about mental organization. And so I've done something recently that has organized the things that I need to do and my thoughts and my wants of my to-dos. So I kind of wanted to share it with you because I think once you are mentally organized, you can then physically organize. Because I sometimes think that there's just a lot going on all the time. And some days just seem like you have so much to do that you can't even get one thing done, but you have so much to do. Is that, am I the only one with that problem? I've been watching this girl, her name is Jade and her last name is Dharma something. It's really hard to pronounce, but I'll put her link below because I think she's super adorable. She calls her little, people like Dharma Nation. I think she's adorable. Anyway, she's an entrepreneur. She's actually a 17 year old who dropped out of high school to pursue um, building her business. And she's only 17 and has had a couple businesses fail already, which I think is crazy, like good for her. So what she's doing right now is actually succeeding really well. She helps people with their social media and their YouTube and stuff like that. And she just gives like inspiration and she gives like thought. And I don't know, I just find her super interesting. She's only 17, but she has like a lot of insight and I find her very interesting. So she has this idea that she does. So I kind of took some inspiration for it and did my own version of it. So what she does is she takes her goals, her wants, her to-dos, and she puts them on post-it notes and she like sticks them on her wall, kind of like a calendar, and then she puts her ideas up. And I just thought that was like really cool to just write it down. I'm a very visual person. I need to write things down and see it in front of me. If I stick it in my phone, I just forget about it. And then I look at it later, I'm like, oh, I totally forgot that was coming up. I just need something more solid than that. I think. So what I did was I can't just stick post-its up over my wall because we have people come over all the time and I don't want just post-its everywhere. So I wanted something that I could remove and then put back up in my office. So what I did was I made like my own post-it calendar. month is written on this calendar like tonight is right here we're going to Matt's birthday dinner at his sister's house everything's colored too like blue is fun pink is Ashley you like stuff that I want to do and green is where I make money so those are like weddings and stuff that I have coming up and then yellow are things that are just like birthdays anniversaries stuff that never changes everything that has a place and a time is placed on the calendar I also put the little dates in the corner on things that I know I'm doing just so I can kind of fill in the dates because I just don't want to write numbers everywhere and have to change them all the time under my to-dos I have things that we want for future things like we have a shed in the back we want to tear down and we want to put up a new shed stuff like that I just don't know when we're gonna do it yet so they're under to do's and then here's all the YouTube stuff that I want to do like filming editing wise and all that stuff and I just don't know what days I want to do them on yet so I'm just gonna look over here in places that I think that I could film in I could pop them right in and be like okay next Wednesday I'm filming my in-between car wash class which you're probably like what the heck is that but don't worry you'll see in the future but that's one of the things that I want to do and so then on top of that I kind of wanted to know what I had coming up so back of this 
I made a next month, next month, and a next month. This is September, this will be October, November, December. This is all I have coming up that I know about. So nothing is to do back here. All the to do's go on the front. This is all stuff that I have going on for the next three months. So at least if I wanna like kind of peek and look, I can be like, okay, I have this coming up. And yes, I could look on my phone, but at the same time, because I physically wrote all this stuff down, it's locked in my memory better. Like I, I know birthdays that are coming up that I'm aware of. So if I'm out shopping and I see something, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember writing her name down, her birthday's coming up, you know what I mean? So I'm super excited about this. I hope it keeps me extra organized from this. I just thought I'd share it with you because if you're mentally organized, you can physically organize. Then once you have everything organized, because I think that's the goal in everyone's life is to just feel organized, have everything for it's supposed to be and everything how you want it to be. And then you live in your best life, right? You're not constantly in the back of your head like, oh, I need this to do and I have to do this and I have to do that. No, you have it all done because you got mentally organized and physically organized and now you're living your best life. Calendar in my little office and it just stays right up here and I have my little sticky notes in case I get inspiration or Matt has something that he'd like to add to the to-do list. He can do that, I told him about it. He was super excited about this. And then if people come over, all I have to do is slip it right behind my desk and no one has to see it. Here I come, productivity. And so those are my ideas and I just wanted to share it with you because when I looked on my calendar today, all I had to do was go to Matt's birthday dinner. So I was like, oh, what can I do? I can share with you my idea for organization, to get mentally organized, to therefore become physically organized, and therefore live your best life. It's time to do my hair. Okay, so my hair is dry, but it still feels oily, and it's going to, because it takes a second for the oil to come out of your hair, maybe a couple washes. Like I said, I only shampooed it once today, but it's all pretty much out, but because my hair is so thin, the oil just soaks right in. So almost, it's almost like I have like three day old hair right now. So I wanna show you what I do to fix the greasiness of it, because depending on the kind of hair you have and how high you go into the roots, depends on how greasy your hair is gonna be. I did my whole head today. I left it in for three plus hours. I knew my hair and my roots were gonna be extra greasy, but what I do is I use dry shampoo or I use baby powder. Both things are the same to me, so let me show you. And there we go. My hair feels and looks 10 times less greasy and feels so much better. It doesn't feel as heavy on my head. So now we're just gonna style it. flyaways or I just want to like control it more. I use my husband's hair gel. He uses Suavecito and it works out quite nicely. I just take like the smallest amount, rub it on my fingertips and then just kind of pat down the flyaways. <laughs> put together a little cheese plate to take over to Kristen's house. I make a pretty good cheese plate. Three. The English cheddar from Costco. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I still have a little bit left over, so I'm gonna use this first and dive into this. Mmm, it's so good. only this one. And then I love adding like a fruit jam. Raspberry is pretty good, especially with the brie. And then you always have to have some honey. I prefer honeycomb, but that's so hard to find and it's really expensive. So normal honey will do. And then you need crackers. These are pretty good. I got them at Costco gluten-free. And now the cheese plate is complete. I'm gonna put a knife in for the cheeses and the spreads. Yummy! Hey, come here! Let's put your car on. Look how cute you are. You're so cute. You're so cute. Thank you. 